Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today, our lecture is about to analyze this simply frame in which we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of this frame. And we will also to find the support reaction firstly. So then we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this frame. So you can see here, uh, the frame is being supported uh, by the two supports. One is the roller support here at this end, at the point A, while the other is the hinge support provided at the point B. While the 5 kN load X in the literal and the sideways direction at the joint of this frame and the, uh, this beam you can see here is being supported, is being loaded with a load of 2 kN per meter uh, over the length of 10 meter. So this length is 10 meter and this length is 8 meter. So first of all, for analyzation of this beam, for to draw the shear force and bending moment, we, have, we need to find the support reaction of these two supports. We would find support reaction. So the first it is the roller support. So it can only resist the vertical force. So we can draw R A because there is a roller support. So it can only resist the vertical forces. While the other is the hinge support. So it can resist both, both the vertical and horizontal. R B Y. And we have vertical and we have horizontal resistance here provided by the hinge support is the RBX to this horizontal load. There is a no there is a no hinge support, so it does not have any horizontal resistance to this load. So all the horizontal load, all the little load will be supported only by the hinge support here. So to find the support reactions, let's suppose uh, if we take the summation of moment at the point B is equal to zero. So then according to that we can find the uh, support reaction. Then we can draw the shear force and bending moment. So summation of moment at B will be equal to zero and let's suppose that the clockwise moment is positive and the anti-clockwise we take is negative. So the RA force you can see here at the point A, the RA is acting in the clockwise direction. So RA in the moment arm is 10 meter. So RA into 10. Then we have this load 2 kN per meter you can see here. So 2 kN per meter if you multiply with the 10 we can get the uh, your concentrated load to 2 into 10, 20 kN. So 20 kN load, uh, concentrated load, so we can find the uh, moment arm, the moment arm is, but it acts in the uh, anti-clockwise direction, so I will take it as minus with a negative sign. So 20 into the moment arm will be now 5, because it is a, a uniformly distributed load, so uniformly distributed load, we have concentrated load, and the concentrated load acts at the center. So uh, we can also calculate it by this way 2 into 10 uh, 2 into 10 20 and 20 the moment arm is 5 meter now and this force is no moment arm is it x to the axis of this uh, point b so the moment so it is zero so we can call it the summation of moment at b point is equal to zero now the ra comes out to be 10 ra comes out to be if we move this on the right side so 2 into 20 and this comes out to be 100 plus 100 so then RA comes out to be 10 kN similarly if we do this the summation of vertical force is equal to 0 so if RA is taken as positive in the put direction so if I take this positive and this uh, downward force is negative so R is acting upward and also the RBY is also acting in upward direction and while this uh, load is acting in downward direction 20 is a mission of force is equal to 0 so I can calculate the RBY is if I move this in the other direction R is 10 so I can have it 10 but in the opposite direction it will be negative 10 and this will become positive so RBY comes out to be 10 kN so both the vertical forces give the resistance of 10 kN here and 10 kN here. These are the vertical reactions are provided by the two supports to this coming load and vertical direction. Now I'm I'm finding the horizontal reactions. So 5 kN cannot be resisted by the roller support, so the whole 5 kN will be resisted by uh, the hinge support. So it, it is very easy to uh, know about the horizontal reaction here. So I can write it here, summation of forces in the horizontal is equal to zero. So 5 kN uh, it will be resisted by the RBX. So RBX is equal to the 
5 kN. So this force is 5 kN. So this is the way how to uh, find the support reactions of for this uh, for this frame. You can also find the support reactions of any type of frame uh, by using the summation of moment and summation of vertical forces by these equilibrium equations because it is a statically determined problem. Now I want to draw the uh, shear force and bending moment diagram. So for this, first of all, I will also draw the uh, free body diagram for this frame. Now I will draw the uh, free body diagram for this frame. So the free body diagram will be like this. In this way, there's a column, there's the beam. So the load ejecting is 5 kN here in the horizontal direction. There's a hand support, and there's a roll support here, and there's a hand support here. So, and the load acting here is uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter. So, as we know that the reaction forces here is 10 kN. So, uh, this will be 10 kN, and this is also 10. And this force is 5 kN. So, this is an equilibrium now. The uh, a resistance is being provided uh, to the applied load. So, uh, and also this 10 kN will be also transferred due to the equilibrium here, 10 kN, and similarly uh, it will be due to the joint property, it will be also transferred along the joint, so 10 kN and 10 kN. So this is the free body diagram for this uh, frame. And now to draw the shear force and bending moment, so I can draw the frame here, I can this way, So this is a shear force diagram for this frame. Uh, uh, the shear force for this will be uh, if there is no load acting on this column, so the shear force diagram will be zero for the column. And also for the beam, uh, as we know that the 10 load is acting in the upper direction, so it will be like in this way 10, 10 kN. And then coming downward, the load is acting downward, so it will come out to be in downward direction until we get the again 10 kN here because here we also have 10 kN so we have 10 kN force on the other side so this is the shear force diagram for this beam there is no shear force diagram for this column is there is no little load acting on this column or no resistance provided by the roll support so the only shear force diagram will look like this for the beam now to find the bending moment diagram, I will again draw the reference line for the frame. We have the two reference lines, one is the column, one is the beam. So there is a bending moment diagram. So from the shear force we can draw out the bending moment. So finding the area of this triangle and this triangle is this will uh, is this will become how to be zero at a distance of five meter because 10 is acting upward and then it is acting downward in the same direction as this is acting in the upward direction. So it will be equal to 0 in the, in the distance of 5 meter because the same load is being resisted uh, by the two supports. So you can see here, so 5 meter will be the uh, distance. So if I found, the, found out the tri area of the triangle, so this will be the moment diagram for this beam. So this area of triangle can be found out half into 10 is the height you can see and distance is 5 so it can be uh, calculated is 25 kN into meter so this is the area of triangle and you can see here where the shear force is 0 we have maximum bending moment so here is 0 bending moment because there is no uh, fixed support to resist the moment so the whole moment will be resisted here by the the maximum moment will be acting here at this a point in the middle of the beam with a, a 25 kN meter and then it will a negative triangle with the same magnitude so it will again drop to zero here because there is a hinge support it cannot take moment so the maximum bending moment acting here is 25 kN into meter so this is the bending moment diagram for this uh, frame you can see there is no shear force or bending moment for the column but we have only bending moment and shear force for the beam only so this is the way how to analyze how we analyze the frame structure. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.